occasionally manufacturers will pivot from a standard design language they've been using for a series of products. And usually this is to show a big change in functions or new components and features. So when Lumens showed us the new VC R30, we got really excited since we could see a big demarcation point in the historical timeline of Lumens PTZ cameras, as this camera truly represents a big change for the Lumens camera lineup. So today, we're putting the VCR30 on the bench to see what nuggets of goodness Lumens packed inside it. Out of the box, you can see the material design and design language of the new chassis has completely changed. It has an almost Star Trek Enterprise-like design with the tilt of the PTZ yoke, and this gives it a silhouette that will clearly allow it to stand apart from the more traditional design of other PTZ cameras. Now the base of the camera has a new look as well, getting away from the large R2-D2-like designs of the previous generation to a more slim, compact, almost appliance-like look. Now, while most cameras are designed to be at the back of the room, never to be seen, this camera design wants to be front and center in your conference room. It has a very elegant and clean profile that, while only a few inches smaller than its predecessor, still feels a lot smaller. Now, like I said, it looks like the Lumens design team wanted to create something you would want to place at the front of the conference room, right beside your TV uh, and your favorite plaque. Which brings us to the specs. This is a 1080p camera with a 12x zoom and a 72.5 degree horizontal viewing angle. Yes, there are cameras with a wider angle, but they tend to leave you with a very fisheye perspective when zoomed out that the R30 won't. Now, with its SDI, HDMI, USB, and IP all operational at the same time, this camera comes ready for any video conferencing party you want to throw at it out of the box, which is really what it's designed for. However, we're going to take it into our podcast studio and connect it to a TriCast or TC2 Elite. This camera is perfect for a small podcast studio since it only has a 12x lens. In our room, you won't need the 20 or 30 times zoom, so paying extra for that little bit of glass would be overkill. Now, since this camera doesn't have NDI built in, we're going to connect it using the SDI connector right into our TriCaster. Lumens PTZ control is already built into the TriCaster, so controlling the camera won't be an issue. In a matter of a few minutes, we have the camera set up and we're able to produce. Using this camera with OBS, vMix, or wired pass should be just as easy, even without NDI, because those applications can use the native IP signal right out of the camera. Which brings us to two other large changes from previous Lumens cameras, the embedded web UI and power. Lumens did a complete overhaul of the UI that's very snappy and responsive simplified the menus, and placed the PTZ controls on the screen below the live video preview, making it easier to use and not get your hand in the way if you're using a touchscreen, which you should try this, it's really fun. Now to power. Previous generations of the cameras would require PoE+. Plus. This is the first PTZ camera I'm aware of that only draws nine watts of power and drops the PoE Plus requirement and the power usage in half from previous cameras. Less power means less PoE budget loss on your switch and allows you to run more cameras. All in all, we really enjoyed this camera and I can guarantee we'll be taking over for our daily driver for Teams calls in the conference room as soon as this video is over. Now, Lumen shared with us that this design is the first of many to come and we're going to see features like auto tracking, NDI, bigger zoom numbers in the future releases. Thanks for watching. For more reviews, see our YouTube channel or to get your own VCR30, call, click or visit us at exertusbroadcast.com.